Hi boys and girls. My name is Mrs. Hagdorn and I'm a reading teacher. I'm so glad you joined me to hear a great new story that I'd love to share with you tonight. This book is called Henry and the Buccaneer Bunnies by Carolyn Crimmy, illustrated by John Manders. Cruising the seven seas on a crickety old ship called the Salty Carrot sailed a wild, rowdy band of buccaneer bunnies. They were bad, bad bunnies, all right. When pirates on other ships saw their long, floppy ears and their fluffy white tails, they shook with fear. The captain of the Salty Carrot was Barnacle Black Ear, the baddest bunny brute of all time. Black Ear was proud of his wooden paw, his golden earrings, and his mean reputation. What Black Ear was not proud of was his son, Henry. Instead of performing his proper pirating duties, Henry was more interested in reading books the buccaneers stole from the other ships. Shout, shiver me timbers, Black Ear ordered. I'd rather finish this chapter, said Henry. Make this prisoner walk the plank. Can't I just read about it? Find yourself a parrot for ye shoulder. First, I need to read up on parrot care, said Henry. Buccaneer bunnies don't need books, said Black Ear. Toss them overboard, he yelled to the other bunnies. No, cried Henry. Let me just finish them first. Avast, cried Black Ear. Swab the dicks until ye come to your senses. And so Henry swabbed the decks day after day while reading some of his favorite books like Rabbit and Caruso and 30 Days to Longer Ears. Bet ye can't learn how to do this from a book, Jean LaHare said while sharpening his hook. Henry sighed and turned the page. You'll never find booty like this in a book, Calico Jackrabbit told him, holding up his stolen loot. Henry shrugged and turned the page. Can't do this with a book in your paw, Bartholomew Bunny said while sanding his peg leg. Henry just turned another page. As much as he loved his books, Henry was a lonely buccaneer bunny, if ever there was one. Then, one morning, he looked up at the red sky and wiggled his little pink nose. He heard the parrot squawk. He saw fish jumping out of the water. If my books on meteorology are correct, those signs mean a big storm is headed this way, he thought. He tried telling Jean LaHare about the upcoming storm. Excuse me, but I believe a storm is coming, Henry said. But Jean was too busy polishing his pieces of eight. Go back to your books, Henry. He tried telling Calico Jackrabbit I'm pretty sure a storm is on its way, said Henry. But Calico Jack was too busy, admiring his tattoo of a cabbage. Don't bother me now, Henry. Finally, Henry cried, Batten down the hatches! The, a huge storm is coming! What do you know about storms? Black Ear demanded. Get back to swabbing the deck before I make shark bait out of those books of yours. Henry 
did what he was told, but he kept his little pink eyes on the skies. When he saw the rats abandoning ship, he started packing up his books in the empty treasure chests. The storm started small. A few low grumbles of thunder, a spike of lightning. Then, suddenly, a crashing, bashing, thrashing, wild cat of a hurricane broke loose. It shook the ship. Sovereign sea dogs! It mangled the masts. Great blimey blighters! It slashed the sails, damaged the deck, and ripped up the rickety old salty carrot. All that was left floating on the choppy waters were a bunch of soggy bunnies and Henry's treasure chest filled with books. When the storm finally calmed down, Black Ear, Henry, and the rest of the buccaneers paddled to the nearest island. We're ruined, wailed Black Ear. No ship, no pieces of eight, no gems. He sat in the sand and blubbered like a lily-libbered landlubber. But Henry got to work. The first thing he did was build a two-story hut out of palm fronds and coconuts. How did you learn how to do that? asked Black Ear. I read it in 101 Things to Do with Palm Fronds and Coconuts, replied Henry. Next, he built a fire and cooked up a tasty seaweed stew. Blimey, said the hungry bunnies. Where did you learn that? I found the recipe in Quick and Easy Meals for Marooned Pirates said Henry. Then he made them all fetching garments from the bits and pieces he had salvaged from the ship. We look like gentle bunnies, we do. What swank swashbucklers we are. Arr, and it's all from them landlubbing books, said Black Ear, shaking his head. Henry taught Black Ear and the Buccaneer Bunnies all kinds of useful things, like how to plant carrots, make the best sand castles, and build boats out of palm fronds. Soon, they built a new ship, which they sailed to the library at the nearby Easter Islands every summer. Here, the bunnies spent many happy hours slurping seaweed stew and reading books. I, buccaneer bunnies, will always need books, said Black Ear. Henry just smiled and turned the page. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed our story tonight. There'll be many more to come. Keep reading.